There's currently a special election taking place in North Carolina's 3rd Congressional District, and GOP contender Eric Rouse just put out an ad that isn't just dumb and dishonest, but it's probably the most Republican ad I've ever seen, and it's so absurd that it seems like something that SNL would produce. I'm Eric Rouse. If I ran my business like they run Washington, I'd be broker in jail. When Trump took office, he flipped a switch. Now our economy is booming with more jobs. To keep it going, Trump needs allies to help shoot down these socialist radical agenda. Threatening to take our guns? Government-run health care. And their radical Green New Deal. I'm Eric Rouse, and I approve this message, because in the House, I'll have Trump's back. Ha! Gay! I have so much to say about that short ad. Um, first of all, if you're a Republican, how do you not find that insulting? How does that not seem like he's just pandering? I'm shooting a gun. I'm tiff. I'm a Republican, and I like guns. I mean, do you not think that that is insulting to your intelligence? I mean, I, I don't get how they buy that and they don't see that as disingenuous and pandering. It makes no sense to me. Second thing I want to say is, can we get some innovation and new ideas and new creativity in these advertisements? Because how many times has politicians done the same thing? You had, uh, who was it, Joe Manchin shooting a cap and trade bill with a gun. You have Allison Lundergan Grimes shooting uh i think the same shit skeets or whatever it is i don't know what it's called but she was shooting a gun in her ad against mitch mcconnell and it's just it's tired it's played out if you're gonna take these bills and destroy them i want to see something new i want to see some innovation something revolutionary maybe do something nobody's ever done before take a dump on a bill literally <laughs> Uh, hug a flag like Trump does. Just do something new. I mean, it's just, it's so played out. It's so dumb. And I don't get how you can write this ad or pitch this ad and then think, oh, this is a good idea. This is going to make people like me. I mean, maybe this plays well in North Carolina among the GOP base, but I just don't see how they wouldn't see that it's obvious pandering. Now, of course, the ad is incredibly dishonest because he claims that the left wants to, uh, ban guns. I mean, how long are they going to claim that we want to ban their guns until something actually happens? For eight years, we had to listen to them say that Obama's coming for their guns. Never happened. But just you wait, it's happening sooner or later, so keep voting Republican. Keep voting against your own self-interest so you can have your guns. We're not coming for your guns, dude. We don't care. And what he doesn't realize is that all of these things he's talking about, like universal health care, Medicare for all, and the Green New Deal, and gun reform, which is really what we're talking about, which is really the conversation we're having about guns, Americans aren't actually on his side. They're on our side. They're on the progressive side. But yet he calls us radical. So, for example, when you look at the issue of gun reform, six in ten Americans overall, according to Gallup, support gun reform. Now, that's not a majority of Republicans. But when you go to the question of universal background checks, the overwhelming majority of Republicans support that. In fact, 97% of Americans overall support that. And when it comes to government-run health care, well, 70% of Americans support Medicare for All, including his own party. 51%, a slim majority of Republicans, now support Medicare for All. When it comes to the Green New Deal, when you look at numbers on that, 92% of Americans overall support that, including 64% of Republicans. So, as you invoke socialism, which I doubt he'd be able to define, and you call us the radicals, well, you have to realize that this is no longer 2004. We're the moderates. You're the radicals. Because if you are against policy proposals that the overwhelming majority of Americans support, then that makes you the outlier. That makes you the fringe. But when you say that we're radicals, you're implying that we're somehow outside of the norm and outside of the bounds of respectability in American politics, when that couldn't be further from the truth. If we have an agenda that's populist, that has support among your own party, then you're the fucking radical, buddy. And this is what bugs me about Republicans, is that 
they never operate on the basis of facts. It's just their feelings over facts because they're still pretending that nobody supports Medicare for all and the socialist boogeyman will resonate when that couldn't be further from the truth. So this ad is one of the dumbest I've seen in a while. I think it was thoroughly entertaining, not necessarily for the right reasons, but I'm just, I'm shocked that this type of shit still plays well among the GOP base. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. But I don't see how they wouldn't see this and be insulted. What does this guy think I am? An idiot? He's clearly pandering, shooting a gun. What an idiot. He's not one of us. He's an elitist. That's what I think a reasonable Republican would deduce when they see this, but I mean, who knows? They voted for Trump, so I wouldn't put anything past them. Subscribe if you like this video, folks. Mike's tremendous, and he's doing a really, really good job. Many people are telling me about how wonderful the Humanist Report is. Bigly.